Songko is a cap worn by the Muslim male. Usually, Songko wore on special events such as Eid Mubarak or even attending formal events. Now you know a brief definition of Songko. Is it possible to create it in Beyond Studio? Yes, it is. And here's how I do it. Go to the hairstyles, go to a whole section right here, go to custom and create new. Then we're going to edit hairstyle. So, in this way, we are going to create the base of the Songko right here. So, we're just going to add procedural hair guides. And now, we, and we're going to remove this one because we don't need this. Okay, then scroll down until you find fit to head Z. Just to make the hair mesh look wider and free like this. And then expand the hair procedural group offset. There we go. We're going to adjust that later, but for now, we're going to adjust the offset right here. Since we are using a very serious supervision, of course, we are going to move the hair mesh right here. Go we'll move it up right here. Then, scroll down and find the hairline. This is the hairline right here. We're going to make the hairline a little bit like this. Alright, I think this is far. Okay, this is good, this is good. We're going to change the fluffy curve to straight. Then just adjust the curve to make it look a bit straight. There we go. Now we're going to surround the hair mesh around this area to this very end right here. Go to interval right here. And if the hair is not enough, you can even adding the hair count. For me, I'm adding the hair count till... I think this is good enough because we are going to make the hair mesh width wider. So this is width ratio. Just up. There we go. Close the space right here. By scrolling down, go to the interval. We'll close up the gap here there we go there is this thickness shape right here we can do that by reduce the thickness by going to thickness ratio around the hair parameters reduce the thickness a bit so we don't need this kind of shape not perfect but i think this is good enough then adjust the hair mesh right here and go to scale let's see if it's fit If the Sunko is too tall, then you can just reduce the width like this. There we go. Then move the hair. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Now we need to change the hair textures right here. Go to procedure group, select the material, untick the main color and highlight color, and go to the textures. Usually, I would see people wearing a black velvet Sunko. But, you can do any color however you want, but in tutorial, we are going to use black color. Change it to black color right here, but not to black, just around this color right here. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Then turn on the mirror. There's not the brush. There we go. Next, we're going to cover our song code because our head already exposed as it is. So all you need to do is go to position group, but this time we're going to duplicate it. Next, we're going to move the hair mesh up. Next, we're going to select the position group, scroll down, but this time our hairline go back to the default mode, right? This. Alright. Okay, looks so weird. <laughs> but don't worry because we're going to reduce the, the hair mesh size right here. All you need to do is just Reduce it a little bit like this. Uh, 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 uh. Alright. Then we're going to select the move. Then. There we go. We're done. Here it is our song called. Made in Veroid Studio using only hair groups. Yes! This tutorial is really simple and short, and I think everyone can do it after this. Don't forget to keep on updating your Veroid Studio and if you miss what's new in the current update, you can check the videos right here and also laser.